Hi there, sports fans. This is Play Fry TV and I'm Kinito Henson. Hi, this is Leanne Castillo and now we're going to bring you part two of our pre-finals episode between Ginebra and TNT. And of course, for me, what's really interesting here, Kinito, is that Giorgio Lastimosa, who was one of the key players for Tim Cohn, you know, when they won for Alaska, is now going up against Tim because Giorgio is now the head coach of TNT. So, sabi niya, underdog siya and parang nothing to lose. Well, so much uh, drama behind this series. And yes, this is for the Governor's Cup Championship. Giorgio Lastimosa, the interim head coach of TNT, up against uh, Barangay Hinebra head coach Tim Cohn, the winningest coach in PB history. Now, in the previous episode, Diane, we heard uh, the Hinebra coach Tim Cohn and some of his key players talk. This time, we're going to talk to TNT interim head coach Giorgio Lastimosa and some key players from TNT. At ngayon, kasama natin TNT Interim Head Coach Jojo Lastimosa. TNT has won 12 of their last 13 games. You're on a hot streak. Are you going to extend that streak all the way till the end of the finals? Oh, we hope so. Um, definitely, we're playing well, uh, Kinito. And uh, all you want to do going up against the finals is that you continue to build, you continue to improve. Yeah, and I'm hoping that uh, what we're, we've been playing in the eliminations, even in the semifinals, we can even put it um, on another notch, another level. Pressure. Do you feel the pressure, you being the interim head coach? You've said more than once that this is a one-off stint mm -hmm. for you. Uh, no pressure at all. No pressure. <laughs> I'm not being my abang because I know, I know I'm going up against him. And I'm not even... Um, I'm not even worthy to even um, wash his feet. Uh, if you want to talk about something biblical, he's, he's up there. And I respect that. And he's, he's done so much for the game. And me being one of his players before, I know about what he does. He's, he's, he's a genius. So for me, just being there is, for me, it's, it's, uh, it's an honor to be there competing against him. Well, we won't ask you who's going to win this series, but we will ask you. How long do you think this series will go? Is it going to be a short series or a long series? I'm, I'm hoping it's going to be a long series. Um, if it's going to be a long series, I think that's going to favor us a little bit because now Tim knows that his players have been part of Gilas and that's been also a problem for TNT before that their players are overspent you know, playing for Gilas and then TNT. And now he's on the other side and he knows that a short series can work for them and a long series will probably work for us. Thank you very much. Best of luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, Ron Day Jefferson for TNT. Welcome to the Philippines. And I have to say congratulations on your excellent performance since you've been here. Thank you. Averaging, I think, about 40 points a game and really being a key factor for TNT making it to the finals. Your, your thoughts about playing in the PBA? It's your first time. Uh, yeah, I like it. I like it. The competition, um, the fans, the people. It's been an amazing experience. I'm very grateful. Mm -hmm. And uh, before coming here, what were some of the things that you've heard about the PBA, I'm sure, from you know other players? And what was it like from what you were told and what it is to actually be in it? I actually only heard about the PBA from one person. His name is uh, Ricardo Ratliff. He played uh, okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, he was my teammate in Korea. Mm -hmm. um, he talked highly about it. You know, he said the fan, like, he calls this his second home um, outside of Korea. Um, but yeah, he, he raved about the fans. He raved about the way they treated him, um, the atmosphere. He loved it. So uh, I came and actually visit. I visited Bor uh, Bor Borakai. Yes, Borakai. Um, in January. So when I came, I was like, oh, I love to hear it. So. Nice. Um, yeah. And do you have you you think you're com comfortable with PNP with Coach? Jolas for now. I'm sure you've met Coach Tim, uh, Coach uh, Chot. What can yeah. you say about the organization and the system as compared to the other leagues you've been in? Well, I won't ask you about the NBA right um, now. Yeah, I mean, they, these guys have been first class, you know, making sure I, I had everything I needed, um, making sure I was comfortable, uh, making sure they, they opened their arms and welcomed me into mm -hmm. their country, uh, which I'm greatly appreciated for. Um, and then being able to, you know, uh, just mesh with the guys from a basketball standpoint was excellent. And, um, you know, I've just been enjoying this journey. Yeah, how have you been able to perform so well, like, so soon? Like, was it easy for you to adapt and just come in, jump right in and, you know, um, make a difference? 
I wouldn't say I'm um, so slow. I've been playing basketball since I was five, so this is just me. Yeah, no, I mean like here, right into the team. Like. Basketball is university, so, yeah. I, so the way I look at it, it doesn't, doesn't matter where you go. Um, if you work hard, the results will show. Right. And can you tell me about your experience in the NBA? You played for three teams, mm -hmm. right? Um, how was that for you? How would you reflect on that experience? Mm -hmm. Um, I would say it's definitely a great experience, you know, to uh, get my name called by the NBA commissioner, yeah. to play in wonderful cities that I played in, uh, meet the people that I've met. Um, it's, it's been a great experience, and I'm forever grateful for the opportunities that I had. Yeah. Okay. And playing against Hinebra, which we all know is a crowd favorite, they have the six man in the stands cheering, I guess. From what you're used to, that shouldn't really bother you, or when it does it make a difference? <laughs> uh, no, nah, I've, I've always been the guy who loved, who thrived off the, off of people oh, booing or okay. chanting against me. <laughs> um, makes no difference. So all good. All so good. your coach is saying that you guys are the underdogs with nothing to lose against Hinebra. I mean, how how eager are you for an upset to to beat the Hinebra squad? Um, I, yeah, I don't, I don't get into that. I just play basketball. I let them talk about it. Let the reporters talk about it. I just show up to work. And how have the practices been? Uh, what can you say about the practices of uh, the PBA teams, like TNT, as compared to the other teams and leagues that you're used to? Uh, you gotta do what works for you. So I don't. So it's you do, it's you do a lot of your own workouts as well, aside from the team workouts? Yeah, I work out after practice, like every practice. So. And I noticed that you were deep reading into uh, some books. Can you share with us some of your the things that you're reading that I can, I guess motivates you and helps you? Um, motivates me. I, I'm reading a book called Think Like a Monk uh, by Jay Shetty right okay. now. Okay. Okay. Um, and I'm also reading the Quran because of Ramadan, but the Think Like a Monk book is very, I think a lot of people should read it. Mm -hmm. uh, helps us, it, it helps us kind of put life into perspective on uh, what are the things that we're actually chasing in life and mm -hmm. what really matters and you know, how being a really good person and being a giver and a care mm -hmm. goes a long way. That's beautiful. So nice to meet you and good luck in the series Thank one you. day. Thank you. We're watching out for your 40 plus points for TNT. Thank you. <laughs> okay, RR Pogoy of TNT and also with the Gilas National Training Pool. First of all, congratulations for Thank making it to the finals. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Well, you know, you're, you're, you've been mentored this conference by Jolas. Uh, yeah. uh, so, how has it been? Uh, uh, without coach, although nandiyan pa rin si coach Cho, siyempre. Pero how has it been for you? Sa akin kasi ano, uh, easy na lang. Kasi I've been with Coach Jolas since a few days. Ah. So, nagkasama kami ni Coach oh, Jolas so... doon. So, alam ko na yung mga gusto niya. Okay. Are you happy? How happy are you to get into the finals? I mean, you had a very, uh, you know, dominant semi-finals. Mm -hmm. uh, Una-una, sobrang happy kasi nga, nung last conference, hindi man lang kami nag-playoffs. Natanggal yeah, kami. Right. So, our goal is, ano talaga, uh, makapasok sa playoffs. But, uh, we're so happy and blessed na sa finals pa umabot. So, yeah. so ang feeling ni, ni, ni Jojo, no, you can see, parang he's very relaxed. Sabi mm. niya, no pressure mm. because um, everybody's expecting never mm. to win. Mm. Ikaw ba? Are you, do you also have that kind of mindset? Or gusto mong, hindi, kaya natin to, upset natin, Hinebra? Uh, ganun, oh, yung mindset ko talaga is ano, uh, manalo talaga, yun talaga. Pero sabi nga ni Coach Jolas na sila yung favor ngayon kasi yun nga, galing sa champion. Tapos uh, Commissioner's Cup nga yun eh, malaki yung imports, champion oh, oh, sila, yeah, yeah, diba? Yeah. Lalo na ngayon, uh, so favor talaga sila. Pero yung mindset lang talaga namin is ano, uh, nothing to lose, uh, labanan talaga namin sila. So it's Holy Week, uh, I know, kahit Holy Week, kayo mm. talaga kayo, no? no? It's a lot of sacrifice, ano magiging, paghanda ninyo do you think for Hinebra? Kailangan nyo gawin para matalo sila? Siguro ang focus lang talaga is ano, uh, para sa akin, yung yeah. defense talaga ng team. Kasi dun, dun nag, parang fuel namin yun eh. Gumaganda okay. yung offense namin pag maganda yung defense namin. And on a personal basis, ikaw naman? 
your performance and also being part of the national team. So you're having, right after this year, you're going to be in the pool for Gilas also. Paano mo ginagawa yun? Uh, honestly, I know. Uh, unang una focus lang muna ako sa health ko. Oh. Uh, dapat talaga hindi ma injury kasi yun nga may national team pa. Tapos unang una din uh, PBA mo na. Uh, iniisip ko ngayon finals mo na. Okay. Message sa mga fans ng TNT. Dapat siguro invite mo para malakas yun yung channel uh, nila ng Ginebra, di ba? Uh, sa lahat ng fans ng Token Tech, sana suportahan niyo kami this coming finals at uh, uh, lalaban kami para sa inyo. Our our Pogoy. Thank you, thank you. Kelly Williams has won seven championships in the PBA. Looking for your eighth. Uh, how does it look? Governors Cup Finals, TNT versus Barangay Ginebra. We're hopeful. Huh? You know, we we went through our our transition with last conference, not even making the playoffs, and I think we we learned a lot from that scenario, um, and we learned a lot even going into. The playoffs this year with you know to, to go 10 and 1 uh was a surprise to all of us we had a lot of learning to do and we still do but to be in the position we are in where we're like i said we're hopeful we're excited um we think we've learned our lessons and uh, we're looking forward to this this finals with never well coach Giorgio was saying that you're going to be the anchor on defense particularly on justin brownlee he'll be rotating you justin chua and uh Looking for other guys to step up and uh, and challenge uh, Justin Brownie. Is that going to be your major role to play defense and rebound for this team? I, I, I well on the court, obviously there's going to be uh, we're all going to have our hands full with with Justin with Hanebra period. But with Justin, you got to throw uh, your import, you got to throw your best defenders. We might have might have to throw some of our uh, ball boys, and you know, <laughs> we're going to have to throw everybody at him. He's such an incredible talent, but. I think for me personally, my role is going to be, like you said, this is going in, this is my you know, eighth shot, well, you know, going for my eighth championship, uh, it's to settle the guys down a little bit, um, use my experience to help guys settle in, understand that you know, win or lose, you know, it's a series, and not to get too high, not to get too low, and uh, really just aside from Figuring out the X's and O's and and being present, I think that's more of it. Being present, enjoying the 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 experience, because not a lot of guys get to you know play sure. not only play in the finals but to play against a team like Canebra, uh, the, the the crowd favorite, the country favorite. So this is an incredible experience. I'm I'm grateful to be here at 41 years old to experience it with these young guys and. Uh, it's just going to be an exciting series. I think. Well, Machine Gun, what about uh, Poi Aram's return to action? How big a role do you think he's going to play? Oh, it's huge. Uh, Poi came in, the game he came in was the game I went out, mm -hmm. and I think it was, uh, I think that was uh, serendipity to an extent. I'm not happy I got injured, but to see Poi out there, uh, it gave him an opportunity to get his feet wet before the playoffs and uh, before this final series and it's proven to be such an uplift for our team. Uh, very timely, again, be, me being out, but uh, you know, it, it, was, it was tough for Poi to be out and I know he's even learned lessons in this transition of, of having to deal with the injury. Um, but he's going to be super huge going into this final series with Never. Well, tell us about your injury, Kelly, and how fully recovered are you? I'm hard-headed, so I would say that I'm ready to go right now. Uh, it was rough the first few days, the first week or so, but it was a uh, it was a, a partial tear in my soleus in my in my calf. Uh, which I've done before. It's uh, nothing new to me, but it's, you know, the older you get, the harder these things become. And uh, yeah, it was pretty painful, but now I, you know, I, I went through my lumps and went through my therapy, still going through my therapy. And yeah, uh, thankful to God that I'm, I'm here standing and strong and you know, ready to get the go from the doctors. Expectations for the finals. Um, is it gonna be a long series? Is it gonna be a short series? And who wins? Well, of course, I'm going to say Talking Text wins in a long okay. series. Uh, I believe it's going to be a long series. Hanebra, again, is, is they're, in the, they're in the finals for a reason. They're one of the top play, top teams for a reason. Uh, they have a huge, uh, not only do they have a huge backing with their 
with their fan base and, and everything, they also have a, a, a very big uh, why uh, via you know, uh, L.A. Tenorio's uh, situation. You know, they have a, a very big, even more motivation uh, to win for him. So uh, we got our hands full for sure. And I, I think it's going to go the distance and I believe we'll prevail at the end. Best of luck, Kelly Williams. Thanks, Dan. Thanks, man. Right. And now we've got the hot shooting Mikey Williams. Mikey, show us a little bit of your form you take that jump shot because it's like a little hesitation, a little suspension when you're going up for the shot. Can you show us the form? Yeah, it's just a little, a little slide back. Like yeah. This. And I, you know, flick away. <laughs> but, but it's so accurate. Okay, Mikey, um, let's talk about the finals and let's talk about TNT's depth. Do you think TNT is a much deeper team? Than Barangay Ginebra. Uh, yeah, I definitely think we have a uh, the, the deeper depth team. Uh, we have a, a nice little line of three, three starting fives, um, uh, and we just got a lot of great players on my side. What about the import matchup, Ronde versus JB? Who do you think has an advantage? Um, well, we know uh, JB. He speaks for himself. He's uh, kind of forming his own legacy out here that everybody loves, and he's on Ginebra. And he's uh, been here for a long time and he has a lot of championships. So I think that's something that's, that really holds his stature. But we got a new up and coming import that uh, we really love, who we have a lot of value in. And he's done a lot of great things for us so far. So I think it's going to be a great matchup between the two. And um, I think everybody just needs to get the popcorn out because it's going to be interesting. Well, Mikey, we understand in. that Ronde has a special influence on you. Can you tell us a little bit about that influence? Um, you know, we just uh, we complement each other very well on the court. Um, you know, we we just find ways to play together. Our chemistry is really brewing, and um, you know, him playing in and out of the post, and then just able to find each other when, when needed. Is he the next Kobe Bryant? <laughs> he a little something like it. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like it. He plays yeah, like it. He plays like it. His uh, his mid post game is identical. He's just a lefty. You know, so I think that's an advantage being uh, unorthodox. One last question for you, Mikey. You can play several positions, one, two, and three. Which position are you most comfortable playing at? Um, I've been a one my entire life. Um, but, you know, out here I've made a nice transition to, to the two and sometimes the three. Um, but it's just wherever my teammates need me and wherever the coaches need me. Um, I'm going to do whatever is needed to, to win, and that's just most important to me. Best of luck, Mikey Williams. Thank you. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Calvin Aftana, congratulations Thank you. Um, for making it to the finals. You had an incredible last game in the fourth game. You had three three point shots when it counted. What? How did you click? How did you do it? Um, siguro, uh need to step up long because um, we struggled in different ways mm -hmm. like um, o offense and defense and in the second half I think I didn't I, I made a I made a shot but in, it didn't win uh, went in so I think um, siguro nasa mindset ko is to yung dumipensa na lang sa second half so I think I need to balance the things that I do inside the court kaya yun um, we got that uh, uh, fourth uh, third win yeah. last Friday. Galing, so hindi kayo nakapasok in the last conference, conference so this yes. time you're in. Gano ka inspired kayo at uh, umaalam para matalo nyo tong Hinebra team na um, sabi ng coach nyo, favorite talaga? <laughs> Siguro, uh, for me, uh, it's very special kasi it's my, in my uh, two years here in, here in the in the pro, uh -huh. uh, it's my first uh, final sa Firans. And, uh, extra motivation for me because uh, um, we, we're gonna play against uh, my favorite team. Like oh, a favorite fan, team! Oh. Fa no, favorite team. A favorite, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's like a fun, fun favorite team. Yeah, like, okay. Nagsayo ka itong cheer para sa tabila. Ah, uh, no, it's it, it, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, kaya nga kaya nga nandun tayo eh. Um, so uh, extra motivation na rin para sa sa akin para sa team namin uh, to work harder. So it must be your son bed of blood. Yes, no? of course, of course. Ah, that you're, you're taking. <laughs> mm. um, Ano yung na-take away mo doon from uh, your year? Uh, for, for a couple of years na nag-stay ako sa San Beda, um, uh, I three-feet ako doon. Uh, I have three championships sa college and one championship sa D-League. I think it, it helped me this this time. Yeah. But, uh, you know, uh, it's a different league. 
and uh, it's very competitive um, league uh, with uh, different players, uh, uh, professional players, mga galing lahat. So I think uh, it it will be it will be a good match for for me and for my team against uh, Ginebra. Sino yung best friend mo sa TNT na meron ka bang super barkada dyan or everybody? Ah, really everybody naman. Everybody. everybody uh, um, Ma-approachable naman lahat. Mm. And yung import nyo? Grabe, ang galing ngayon, mm, no? Oo, oh, si Rondi. Uh, kaya nga, blessed din kami kasi we have uh, that high caliber uh, import na uh, NBA veteran. Uh, siguro, um, Hopefully, he can help us to get that uh, championship. Tapos si Jojo pa is his parang first, you know, he's yeah, yeah. going up against Tim Cohn. And yeah, then his coach, his coach. Ano, you know what I mean? Napapag-usapan niyo ba yun? Um, di naman. Um, yung mga sinasabi niya lang is to focus this week for that upcoming game one. How is he? Coach he's, Jonas, yeah, as good. head coach. He's good, he's good. Uh, okay naman siya. Uh, Prosciable, tsaka, um, yun, um, parang gathered. Um, ideas na lang uh, kasama yung mga coaching staff like uh, Coach Josh uh, si Coach Josh uh, malaking tulong din para sa amin sila Coach Yuri lahat-lahat nagtutulong-tulong sila to to come up with this uh, finals yes and now Calvin also congratulations kasi you are in the national team mm. <laughs> diba in the pool and then if ever na makakasama ka it'll be your first time playing for the Gilas in the SEA Games yes po, yes po. so how and then um, we have to win the gold pass, so <laughs> how excited are you to be part of the Gilas? Um, siguro, uh, it, it, for me, uh, sobrang excited ko kasi uh, it's my important, first time. Yeah, important. It's siyempre, siyempre, um, it's all about winning naman uh, when it comes to national team. Uh, yun yung gusto ng mga tao, pati ng mga kababayan nating Pilipino. Kasi pag tayo natalo, alam mo naman, alam yeah. naman natin kung ano yung batikos para sa atin. Can you handle the pressure? Yeah, yeah pressure is always, is always there naman. Um, siguro, Grabe kasi yung pressure pag yung gilas sa SEA Games eh, oh, di ba? Kahit saan naman, gilas, FIBA, ay, sa FIBA, sa SEA Games, uh, parang siguro uh, kailangan na pagtrabahuan. Uh, Siyempre kailangan na mag-practice. And, para mag-focus din, mag-focus din yung sa national team. Okay, off basketball naman, ano mga Holy Week reflections mo? Meron ba? Or puro finals lang ang, ang um, nasa prayers mo ngayon? Any... Si, si, sa, kon, sa probinsya kasi, um, nag-kawin kami um, Station of the Cross, mga ganun, mm -hmm. uh, tapos bisita iglesia. So ngayon, um, nandito lang ako kasama yung wife ko. Siguro, um, Focus na lang ako ngayon siguro sa kan sa finals na to. Tsaka siguro alam naman ni Lord uh, gaano ako faithful. <laughs> Good luck. Calvin. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Po. Thank you. Thank you. Po. Well, you heard it from PNT Governor and PBA Chairman Ricky Vargas. He said they may not be the underdogs, but they are going to be the hound dogs in this series. It's going to be a very pulsating finals. Best of 7 Governor's Cup title on the line. Really super interesting to see how Coach Jolas is going to adjust and manage his team against his former uh, mentor, Coach Tim Cohn, and someone that he has worked alongside so much. Uh, sabi ni Tim Cohn, uh, Jolas knows him so well. He's had so much experience also, and the players are just as determined. So let's see who, who, whether TNT can really come up with the solution to Justin Brownlee and the Barangay Hinebra squad. Well, of course, we all know that's going to be a coaching battle, a battle of wits. But we also know, as uh, Diane mentioned, it's going to be also an import matchup battle. It's going to be a war. Rondé Hollis Jefferson against Justin Brownlee. That's an import matchup to watch. And thanks very much for uh, staying with us. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell button for notifications. Also, go to our sister website, playtrike.com, for the best merchandise and the best prices. See you next time. God bless. Play it right TV. This is Diane Castillo. You need to answer. Play it right all the time.